In this video, we'll take the terminal LED control use case and make that interrupt driven. We'll explore the differences in the generated files when we enable interrupts in the MCC Melody UART driver. So I am running the terminal control use case. I'm able to control the LED with some simple terminal commands. So we're going to look at enabling interrupts. As we do so, note that we get a software transmit and a software receive buffer and we can adjust the sizes here. Also note that under notifications we're given a hint that global interrupts will need to be enabled. Let's now have a look at UART1.h and see how this file changes when we enable interrupts. To ensure that we see these changes we make a small comment, literally, before we generate code. This ensures that we trigger the merge window. So let's remove our comment and you can see the first change that we have is that there's a TX complete callback register and an RX complete callback register which were null before. We have transmit interrupt enable and disable and the same for receive interrupts enable and disable and then we have the functions the actual interrupt handlers and callbacks okay so we'll accept all of these changes now if you have removed the interrupt enable here a to get that back is to force update on all, generate code, and I can just take the global interrupt enable from here and discard the rest. Now where should I enable global interrupts? We could try here after the initialization, but this won't work. The reason is because the printf is now interrupt-based communication and interrupts are not enabled so we won't get the expected results. A better place to put this would be directly after the system initialization, since this is in effect part of the MCU's configuration. So here we can see that the behavior is as expected. So going back to our UR.h, opening the C file, you can find a number of your variables and functions. So let's go to the receive ISR and set a breakpoint here. Start a debug session. Okay, our program is running we can go back to the data visualizer and try and turn our LED off. And as we hit send, our receive interrupt is hit as expected. We'll now uncheck the breakpoint and start the program running again. Back in the data visualizer, we can now try and turn the LED off. This is an incorrect command because the breakpoint interrupted the processing of the command. But sending the command again works fine. So that was an overview of the impact of enabling interrupts on the MCC Melody UART driver.